What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm here with my brand new Oster or Oster. I think it's pronounced it Oster. Oster, what's it called? A French door countertop oven. Today we're gonna throw some pizza in it. Um, this is my uh, second use of it. I did make some pizza yesterday, but I kind of messed up, so I wanted to do it again. <laughs> anyway, for those of you um, wondering about the size of this uh, machine, this is my stove top right here. So you can kind of gauge how far it comes out. That's my counter. See, there's enough space there. Just to show you real quick. But anyway, take a closer look at it real quick. You guys have seen this before, but I just want to show you real quick. See all that? And open it up. There she is. All right. By the way, guys, this is like my third oven, toaster oven, or well, this is not really a toaster oven. This is like a extra large portable oven, I guess. And this thing is not very heavy, by the way. It looks like heavy, but it's it's not at all. It's like equivalent to a box that size with uh, three books in there or something. Anyway, this is a 16 inch pizza. And so we're gonna put it in there and um, yeah. Oh, a couple things I want to go over before I do that. Ah, whatever, we'll go over that when I put it in. There's something I do want to tell you, but I'll tell you when I, when I get the pizza in. This is a 16 inch pizza. I got this at Walmart, it was six bucks. Come on now, six bucks for a 16 inch pizza? That's a, that's a good deal. Make sure you don't, you take off, you remove the cardboard, don't put it in your oven with the cardboard on it. I ain't gonna lie, I did that once or twice back in the days. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right guys, so it is on my, I guess, oven rack. So I'm gonna pop it in. So let's do that. I just left the top rack on and I uh, took out the bottom rack. Um, Yesterday when I made it, because um, this uh, from the box, it says 375 for about 18 to 21 minutes. And I did that. I don't know why, because this is not a real oven. Um, the pre, because uh, there's a pizza button there on the side. Where is it? Let me close this. See that? When I hit the pizza button, that's 20 minutes at, did it tell me the temperature? No, but it's at 400 degrees. So I'm going to do 400 degrees at 15 minutes. I don't think it'll take 20 minutes. It'll burn it probably by then. So let's do that. So first thing that I want to show you is when you, let me hit stop. When you hit, I'm going to hit bake. I could hit pizza, but I'm not going to do that because I want to change. When you hit the uh, presets, you can't, um, I don't think you can change the time. Or you can't change the temperature. I don't know which one, one of them. But anyway, I'm just going to hit bake. And I'm going to go to 400 degrees. And I'm going to hit start. And this is where some of you are going to get confused. So when you hit start, it goes into a preheat mode. And you can bypass that by hitting start again. I'm just going to let it preheat for about a minute. And then I'm going to hit start. I probably should have did that before I put the pizza in. But... You know, I'm on, I'm on my break and I don't have time. <laughs> okay, it's been about a minute, so I'm going to hit start again. And then my timer goes. So the default is, I think, 28 minutes. So I'm just going to drop it down to 15. See? And the great thing I love about this line of ovens is when you set the timer and when it goes off it shuts off by itself i'm coming from like i said this is my third um model of this i had the regular one i don't know what it was then i had the extra large one no i had the large one and now this is the extra large one and there was a one previous to this without the french doors it looks just like this without the french doors and this is the same one with french doors so um I'm quite familiar with this model, but the reason why I upgrade is A, my first video on my cooking channel was using this brand. Um, so it's very sentimental to me. 
my tear. Anyway, and then two, I'm going to show you my old, um, my old, the, the one that this replaced. Watch this. Look at that, guys. Come on. Look at that crumb tray. That's pretty nasty. Yuck. Yeah. Had it for five years. It was a good run, but it's it's time. I'm going to treat this one much better. All right, so how much time we got left here? Yeah, it's at 400 timer, 13 minutes. Okay. I'll be back at, I guess, two minutes or so. Well, actually, before I forget, I want to show you something in the manual since we're talking about pizzas and we're making pizzas and stuff. I wanted to show you guys this where it says to use the pizza function down below. Where can I see it? Yeah, see it there? For two pizzas, where it says for two pizzas, for two pizzas, place the two pizzas on the wire racks. Cook the pizzas for about one half the recommended time and then switch the rack positions to allow pizzas to uniformly cook top and bottom. So you got to do some moving around when you're doing two pizzas at a time. So make sure you know that when you're doing it. So because I know in the demonstration, you know, it says that you can do, you know, they're showing you that they can do two pizzas. That's great. But if you don't like rotate them around halfway, it's not going to be done correctly. So just FYI on that. It's going pretty good. Cheese is about turning brown on the top. I like it slightly brown. So I get down. All right, so this is at 14 minutes and I just stopped it. So I'm about to take it out and we'll see what we got. I don't know why the preset said 20 minutes. 20 minutes would have burnt this pizza at 400 degrees. Absolutely. And I did, even at 375, which it recommends on the box, I did that yesterday at 15 minutes. And the top was similar to this, but the crust wasn't like how it is now. The crust was very soft. And this crust is okay. I like this crust. It was very soft and very like doughy, like it wasn't done enough. So that led me to believe. And I'm like, and I thought to myself, I was like, well, this is not a regular oven. And then I looked at the preset and um, yeah. Anyway, shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. That's one of the reasons why I got this as well as the others I mentioned before. Um, a lot of us got the French door one and they put me on to it and I, you saw my toaster oven. And I've been looking to upgrade. Like if they upgraded that. The thing that I was looking for the most. And I know I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, what I was looking for in a toaster oven. Well I wanted to keep the same brand. Number one. But if not that's okay. But I was really looking for. I like that the this oven lights up when you turn it on. Like that. And I like the fact that when you put the timer on. When the timer's finished it turns off. Those two things I could not find in other ovens so that's why I stuck with this brand and that that's very important to me because my son eats chicken nuggets like all the time like I'll pick them up from after school and I'll put the nuggets in for what am I supposed to put it on like 12 13 minutes and then it shuts off by itself so when he when he gets home here they're nice and at a warm temperature I don't even have to worry about it so things like that is important to me think this pimp like but anyway let's cut into this pizza and if you have time guys what I would like to what I like to do when I have time is I like to take off the pepperonis and then um, replace them because every time you buy frozen pizza they just shove it on there any any kind of way I like to just take them out and then reposition them line them up like that and it's just much better but that's if you have time all right, I'm gonna let these cool off and I'll be back to take a bite. All right, guys. You first. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. This is good. Mm. 
that's pretty good right there so definitely do not do it for 20 minutes <laughs> um i say 14 15 minutes check start checking at like 13 12 minutes and then you know you can you know um cook it to your liking some people might like it a little more crisp you know on the top and bottom but i don't like my pizza looking burnt so this is perfect but that's my little review and this was the second time that i'm using this oven and i like it if it was out of five stars i'd give it oh i'd give it four and a half but what I was going to say, remember when you're cooking a 16 inch pizza, it's going to be snug. It's actually going to rub on the side a little. And when you make it, I guess it kind of, it shrinks a little when you make it for some reason. And then it, it, it fits better, but it's actually going to rub on the side. So don't be surprised when you're putting it in. You're definitely going to take the rack out, put the pizza in, the frozen pizza, and then put it in your oven because it's like, kind of like rubbing on the sides. So I, w I would suggest you do that. Or if your, if your pizza is like, my pizza was kind of not that frozen. Because by the time I, I took it out my deep freezer this morning, I put it in my garage. I thought it was cool enough, but I guess it wasn't. So it, was, it wasn't soft, but it wasn't like frozen solid. So if it's not frozen solid, take the rack out and put it in because you're almost going to be fighting wedging it in. But anyway, enough of me boring you. It's cooking with Doug. We out.